Well, have I got something interesting for you on the golf swing. As promised, I'm going to look at one of the smoothest swingers in the game today. Can you guess who that is? Somebody who emulates and has emulated the swing of Ernie Els and Fred Couples. He's got that little thing. Just it is Louis Oosthuis. Amazing, smooth, tempo, yet powerful. Not one of the big guys out there physically, and yet he drives the ball on average 300 yards. His average for his 7 iron is 180 yards. Super smooth. Looks nice and easy. How does he achieve that? He himself has highlighted a number of key aspects that you can work on piece by piece, putting it all together and then just trusting the swing once you develop that. So let's delve into those two or three pieces he refers to as I put images up and I'll give you some of his data at the end. The first piece that he emphasizes is the going back piece of your swing. So as a right-hander, he's going, you're talking about from setup all the way to the top. So he sees that all as one piece. Two or three key things. First of all, he has his arms very relaxed directly under his chest. So that's one key aspect. He talks about relaxed arms. He talks about as he goes back, keeping his feet on the ground quiet, letting his right hip start the turn and do the turn till his back is facing the target and at the very top having that hinge with a nice loose relaxed arms so a nice easy swing as opposed to that very firm stiff swing that you see with some players so he goes Nice and easy hinges at the top, and that's the first piece. The second piece he talks about is coming all the way down, so just before impact. So he talks about leading with your hips. So don't, once you get there, don't start with your arms. Lead with your hips, in his case his left hip, as he's a right-hander, to open his body and let that hip turn bring the body down. So it's the hip turn that brings the body down, not the arms that then bring the body down. Hip turn and then bring the body down. And by opening it out and looking at a couple of very key things as he comes down, you can avoid overswinging. What are they? First of all, don't force it down. So you're not forcing and hammering the ball. You're not coming out to hammer the ball. Think of it as an underarm throw. So you're throwing it. And if he talks about if you had a set of dominoes on the ground, you want to come through nice and smooth, hitting all the dominoes, not smashing the first two. You want to come nice and through all of it. So think about an underarm throw. So as he opens, he talks about an underarm throw. What does that mean? You actually get speed without too much effort. You get power without too much effort. At the impact point, he talks about a couple of key things. The first is that you keep your feet firmly on the ground. So don't try to raise your feet. Keep your feet nice and firm on the ground as you come hit those dominoes through and an impact. Your feet are nice and balanced on the ground. He suggests that the way to achieve that is to push onto, against the ground. So you, you therefore keep your feet on the ground. You're not 
actually trying to raise your body. You keep your feet and you push your feet, your feet against the ground. And your chest only becomes square to the target at impact point. So don't think about when the hips open that you're also turning your chest. You keep that nice underarm throw. The hips open lets you come through. And only at impact is your chest facing the target. It's not facing the it's a tendency I tend to have is I pull across and therefore I pull the ball. You have the chest facing the target even though your hips are wide open. Look at the image. And then that finish or oh, through extension into finish, he said, let the club speed just follow through. Don't try and whack it like that. So let, and once you've hit the impact, just a nice, easy follow through. Let the club speed bring you up to finish. Don't force it. The more you force it, the less accurate you will be the less precise you will be, in fact, you will often lose distance and speed. He calls this whole thing power without forceful effort. And when you watch him, and when you watch his swings, and you watch his shots, including his iron shots, you wonder how he gets the sort of distances and accuracy he gets being so smooth and powerful. Ernie Els, and Fred Couples used to do much the same. So a few key lessons from Louis Vistazen. As mentioned, I'll give you some data. He's had 14 professional wins. One PGA, nine European, three Asian, nine Sunshine Tour. So across the world. 2021, he was tied second in two of the majors, the US Open and the PGA Championship. He, he's world ranked number 10 and he won the British Open in 2010. So a great resume. Last year, an incredible performance came so close so many times with that nice, easy, smooth rhythm, relaxed swing, great timing, great tempo, and easy flow. Something that we can all learn to emulate and copy. See you on the flip side.